throughout my childhood, I can't remember a time that I wasn't watching a Disney movie with my family. We'd be on our couch watching with my dad quoting a movie, of course, and my brother and sisters and I would be singing and dancing along with the characters on the screen. We'd be eating my mom's homemade popcorn with blankets covering all of us. But none of these fond memories wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the mastermind behind it all. The man, the myth, the legend of Walt Disney. His success came from his determination to succeed. He was a very driven individual. After five failed attempts, he finally found his man, Mickey Mouse. He was the creator of Mickey Mouse and Disneyland. Both continue to have an enormous impact on the culture of America. These creations touched the hearts of thousands and allowed many to escape through the art of storytelling, artistry, and imagination. Disney is famous for saying, when you believe in a thing, Believe in it all the way, implicitly and unquestionably. His quote is obvious that he lived by it because of his determination and the lasting impression that he made for himself. Walt Disney was born in Chicago, Illinois on December 5, 1901. He then moved to Marceline, Missouri, even though he was born in the Windy City. His dad could never keep a job, and so his father decided to move the family down to Missouri. The town was a town of 4,000, and it was mostly farming population. He moved there when he was four, and he stayed there for about five years. The importance of this town for Walt Disney was that it gave him the opportunity, opportunity to become a child. He never really had a childhood only because his father always made him work for him so that his father could keep a job at Marceline became an escape because of the child, because of the nature and the animals that he was able to have a relationship with. Both of these factors came into um, play with his creation of Disneyland and Mickey Mouse. Um, Marceline was an escape and was allowed to give him naturing memories of what it was like to be a child, running free with the only responsibility of having an imagination. Walker found of his love for art, but he definitely found a specialty once he matured, which was cartoons. Uh, after five years of failed attempts with characters and storylines, he finally found his man, or should I say mouse. Disney found inspirations for this new mouse from his previous creations, including cats and rabbits. And after multiple drawings, he finally found that if he elongated the nose of the cat and um, rounded the ears of the rabbit, he created a mouse. His wife Lillian named the mouse Mickey, although Disney always wanted to name it Mortimer. Disney's success did not solely come from the drawings of Mickey Mouse. He had multiple members of his team, including distributors, to carry out the rest of the process. It took Disney's team three months to find one distributor. Once Disney and his team were able to find this distributor, they came up with something no one else had, sound. In the, um, he wanted to impress the audiences with something fresh. At the Colony Theater in New York City, on November 18, 1928, Disney's first of many successes was debuted, Steamboat Willie, starring Mickey Mouse, and was played before showing of another film. Disney was anxious about this one because of his ma many failures, even though it turned out to be a hit. Many audience begged the projectionist to, um, to hold off on the feature so that they could rerun Steamboat Willie. A New York reporter, reporter wrote, it knocked me out of my seat. The documentary, The American Experience, described Mickey Mouse as a multi-talented charmer, a dancer, a comedian, and a singer. Disney was the newest Hollywood celebrity. This little mouse was so popular because of his American can-do spirit, which was appealing to the population of America during the early 20s and 1930s. This popularity and success continued to grow for the decade, with films including Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Bambi, and Pinocchio. <coughs> Although Disney's hard work and success didn't stop with his films, not even 30 years later after the creation of Steamboat Willie, Disneyland had sparked. <coughs> Walt Disney was ready to create the image of American values through the amusement park. 
After six months of endless hours of work by 2,500 workers and $17 million later, Disneyland was born. Walt Disney had a very had never been more alive. He had such enthusiasm when talking about his creation. His creative juices flooded his body. In order for Disneyland to have its grand opening, it needed to set be set by Walt Disney standards. He had the opening of the park televised by ABC, so the entire U.S. could see all the magic happening from the comfort of their living room. Um, Disney wanted his new amusement park to be a place where people could take their families to find those family values that were so important to Walt as a child. Seven miles of dead stop traffic followed on July 17, 1955, where temperatures were nearing 100. It was the grand opening day of Disneyland. Roughly 30,000 visitors came that day, according to the California State University of Sacramento, but nearly half of the Americans tuned in from their homes. Walt Disney had invited pol political and world leaders, actors, and friends to join him on this day. According to CNBC News, one day tickets to Disneyland for an adult was $1.50 for a child. Comparing today, you have to pay $99 if you're over the age of 10 and $93 if you're below the age of 9. Um, after 10 weeks of its grand opening, Disneyland had a total of 1 million visitors. Um, according to the California State University of Sacramento. Disney wanted to put his emotion into his creations and wanted it to affect the imagination and simple values for all his followers and believers. Disney was an all-American man who strived for success from the small town of Marceline to Hollywood. No one today is untouched by Walt Disney, whether you were born into a family who had, never, who had a never-ending collection of Disney films or if you traveled to Walt to Disney World. Everyone has been impacted some shape, way, or form by the magical creations of Disney. Because of his determination and imagination, I will always have a love for the magic of his creations.